Thousands of people here and across the country took to the streets today to show their opposition to the war in Iraq. In Cairo 7, Stacey Sakamoto is live with the story. Amy, here in Seattle, they started out at the federal building, marched to Westlake Park, and then back again to the federal building. At its peak, there were a couple hundred marchers. The marchers started at the federal building. As they headed for Westlake Park, the crowd grew. Some were taking part in an anti-war march for the first time, like Lauren Ballard and her friends. Me and my friends have always protested the war, but so this is the first time that I'm trying to get out there and see what can actually be done about it. I don't agree with what's going on right now, and I'm not comfortable paying taxes and living in a country, so with my tacit support of, of what's going on. The Seattle March was organized to coincide with similar demonstrations in other major cities, including San Francisco. Organizers say this month has been the deadliest month this year for U.S. troops in Iraq, and they point to other victims. Iraq is bleeding. 650,000 Iraqi civilians have been killed since this war started. But across the street from Seattle's federal building, George Bentley staged a counter-protest. 35 years ago, nobody was here, and it cost us the war in Vietnam. And, um, you know, I, I, I just, when our guys came home from that war and they were assaulted and, and, and insulted, it just, I could not bear to see that happen again. Several dozen Seattle police officers were on hand, but there were no reports of any problems. Reporting live in Seattle, Stacy Sakamoto, Cairo 7, Eyewitness News.